This is Biafran Generation. Please subscribe. First time Lai Mohammed is saying something more reasonable. <clears throat> and the United Nations have said it plainly and clearly. The only man we know that that uh oh like I say the only man we know that is in charge of Biafra is Mazen Namde Kano. You know the United Nations said it, and uh, we had that Asara Dokubo, Asere Dokubo thereabout, who suddenly became the president of Biafra overnight, who declared himself uh, president of Biafra and declared the Biafran state because he's an attention seeker. The money they give to him, you know, when you give a lavish, look at what the job people said that the uh, job committee have lambasted the former warlord Al Haji Asere Dokubo for listing them as part of the. He did, Biafran territory under his leadership. Ijo people blasting him. Ijo, why will you list us? We are not part of you. The man we know is Namdekano. Namdekano have been the man we have been following day in, day out. And all you come to talk about is to tell us that you are now the new Biafran leader. How dare you? You understand? You know, this thing, he, he will definitely hide it. When you sell out, see, the moment you sell out, the moment they will be praising you. You will be praised. But the moment you, you retrace your step, that is when you will know, not even retracing your step, when you want to come and, you know, use another method to extort people, you will be laughed at. We are not ready, this is from line one, we are not ready to give any attention to or time to joker like uh, Dokubo who is just looking for attention. We will just take it as one of these entertainment things. Entertainment things, somebody. We will just take it as one of these entertainment things. The beauty about Nigeria is that it's, 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 it is never a dull country. You must have one thing or the other to entertain you, he said. I got him, buddy. Say the beauty of Nigeria, China can accord. And the beauty of Nigeria is that it's never dull. It has one or two things that can entertain you. You see the level this book have gone to, but I, I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on what we're actually broadcasting now. They called him an entertain, entertainer. He's into entertainment. A who a beer friend leader. Uh, what is the name of this one? This man said. Fire, uh, is it a Femi something? Who said that uh, uh, Lai Mohammed woke him from sleep and told him that they have declared Biafra? He was scared and shaking. But when he heard that it was Asri Dokubo, he just led back to, to sleep. He just went back to sleep. <laughs> The Kubo leader of the Niger Delta People's Salvation Force reportedly announced himself as the leader of the new Biafra customary government. The phantom government was announced with names of some leaders by one Uche Mefo who claimed to be its head of information and communication. A shameful attitude. Never do Uche Mefo. If you Uche Mefo Jiongwe Yeme, now some people will be saying that uh, we should, uh, you know, he once helped to be Afro. No, he, he was hiding under the umbrella of Mazen Namdekano, pretending that he loves Biafrans. I don't know what came between them, but you know, Namde Kano now has passed the level of giving attention to those who are seeking attention. Because the more you give attention to them, the more they drag you to the to the mud. The more they drag you, they keep dragging you to the mud. When you keep giving attention to these people who seek for attention, they keep dragging you to the mud. Speaking with the news agency of Nigeria on the development of in Lagos on Monday, the Minister of Information and Culture, Al Haji Lai Mohammed, said. The President Muhammad Buhari regime will not be distracted by the absurdity. I'm sure you have heard of the theater of the absurd. That is the best way I can describe it. If Asri Dokubo wants to be formed to form a Ronic Fatum government, I think he is free to do so. 
You understand? Shameful thing. A shameful thing indeed. So as we continue to push forward, we must understand this very important thing. You know, they say when Waziriki was busy making noise, going from here to there, from there to here, saying that he's the leader of the Afro, he came to United Nations. United Nations shunned him. We don't know you. We don't know this man. He had the leader of what? He said, Biafra. He said, no. There's this man called uh, Kano. You know how they pronounce their word. He's the one we know. So how come? When did you form your own government? See those who live on lies. You think it's becoming famous in your country? It is for you to be famous in your country. If the world doesn't know you, you are just, you are just being passed. You understand? You are just being passed. This administration will not be distracted because we still have a lot to do. We are not ready to give any attention or time to a joker like Dokubo who is just looking for attention. We'll just take it as one of these entertainment things. This particular, uh, whatever they call it, they, are, they have more things to do. They, they don't have attention for him yet. But the truth remains. This is what I'm telling all these safe levels. At the end of the day, you'll be dumped. At the end of the day, somebody was giving 50 billion. He couldn't produce anything. Because this is an illegal money. This is here. Your land is being polluted. Oils are oil spillage. Your people cannot farm. They cannot fish anything. And you went and collected the forbidden fruits and eggs behind them. And now you want to lead Biafra. Imagine a corrupt human being. You think you think Biafra is another nation created? Another African nation that will be filled with corruption, bad governance, elder elders that are liars. Somebody should uh, you know whisper to us that Obi are late. Tell him that Obi are late. He came very, very late. We have moved forward. I'm just giving them attention that because the uh, United Nations say what they had to say. Uh, uh, Lai Mohammed made a statement yesterday. That's the only reason. But gone are the days when men think that uh, uh, they own everything. Gone are the days. We are now on the verge and in the in the mission to actually restore a progressive nation you must be very very careful you must be very very careful however we will push whichever we will push there are things we should do and things we must definitely understand and when we understand it it is the time and the betterment for all of us. So go another quote that calls out the Makanife that or that go. However the case may be, let's continue to write for freedom. Do you get the point? Let's continue to write for freedom. So I say the Kuba and Uche Mefo Uche Mefo is hi, na that guy, I hear him, the good old Kokona will be Niroto, Snatch Arabia Chibiafra. Imagine, I wonder how their followers look like. When you show me your leader, I will tell you how you think. Simple. When you show me who is leading you, who is driving the ship, I will tell you how you think. Some people are married fair. You just come out, whatever that comes out of your mouth, you just say it. A very, very shameful attitude. To get the point. So let's continue to push forward as the mission is now becoming more clearer on a daily basis. More clearer on a daily basis. You must understand it's a very, very important mission. And we cannot be distracted. They didn't have the kind of talk. People have been telling him, people have, they, have, they are even tired, all those who live, who talk about Ujemefo. I would like give somebody who doesn't have anything to offer attention. Biafra restoration is no longer a child's play. On this mission, we are in for it. Almost held Biafra, the land of the rising sun, 
y se 